I just learned you can set a Google alert to your own name, and Google will email you all the cool things that other people with your name are doing. <laughs> there's a Joe Zimmerman javelin thrower who is killing it right now. Uh, there's an actor who's been in a bunch of movies. We're very proud of that, Jay-Z. <laughs> I went on to LinkedIn thinking there might be like 20 others. There were 400. And they're doctors, lawyers, CEOs. It made me realize, I don't know if I would make the Forbes 400 wealthiest Joe Zimmermans. I'm trying to make a name for myself. Can't even make a name for myself just among people named me. I'm mad at Google right now. I had an important question to ask, and I remember typing in, what is my, before I could finish, the thing that Google suggested was spirit animal. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, what is it? Because <laughs> you see other people and you know, right? You're like, toucan. But nobody's ever told me mine, so I'm genuinely taking this online spirit animal quiz. <laughs> hoping I'm a chocolate lab. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever been more disappointed than to learn I'm a crow. <laughs> I thought these were supposed to be fun. <laughs> Congrats, you're the scavenger bird. <laughs> you're defensive, you're defensive. <laughs> The crow likes laughing and eating. Everybody likes laughing and eating. It's almost like these internet quizzes are just making stuff up. I was aggravated, like a crow would be. So I went back to Google, looked up second opinion online spirit animal quiz. Like, no way I'm a crow twice. This time I'm basically lying, trying to get chocolate lab. Like, love snuggling and being rescued. Come on. <laughs> Quiz number two told me I'm a cricket. <laughs> that's not even an animal, that's an insect. I don't want a spirit bug. <laughs> so now crows starting to sound pretty good. Now I'm researching more about crows to learn a little bit more about my people. Typing into Google, are crows cool? And uh, short version, they are. They are cool. I recommend them. Crows recognize individual human faces. I know you guys are like, this guy's not gonna keep talking about crows, is he? <laughs> but I kinda need to. I'll sum up the study real quick. Basically, a scientist was mean to a crow and then released it, waited to see if the crow remembered him. Not only did it remember him, but it was like, I hate you. <laughs> and then it surprised him when it told other crows and it could point him out in a crowd. It was like, that dude's cool, that dude's cool, that's the dude. <laughs> and then those crows spread the word to even more crows. They were like, that's the man who bullied Jonathan. <laughs> Sound, that doesn't sound that crazy because we also recognize other human faces. That'd be the equivalent of us recognizing an individual crow's face. Like, there he is. That's the one who stole my windowsill pie. So don't mess with crows because they're smart, they hold grudges, and groups of crows are called murders. You know what groups of people are called? Groups. <laughs> I'll tell you who else holds a grudge, Crow Zimmerman. <laughs> now I got a grudge against Google because I still can't remember my original question. <laughs> Google is amazing, but the suggestions are too distracting. How to lose weight, is that what you're gonna ask? <laughs> No, hold on, I got this. I was gonna ask how to make money fast. That's what other people are asking. No, wait, how fast? So now I'm donating plasma. 